Good morning, everyone. Susanna Baker here. Our talk with Susanna Baker on The Money Man. Every Friday, we're brought to you by The Money Man. And it's a great way to end your week, your week with our talk with Susanna Baker on 880 The Biz. Also, 880 AM if you're driving uh, nationally or internationally through iHeart. I am so happy that every single Friday, I get to bring in some of the community influencers, uh, the people that are the shakers and movers of Miami. But I always love, because since, of course, I am the art experience, I love bringing some of the most world famous and world phenomenal artists. And here today, I have Diana Contreras. Good morning. Good morning, Susanna. It is so good to have you on. You want to be two minutes? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, now I can hear you. Good morning, Diana. Good morning, Susanna. Oh, it's so great to have you. It's been such a long time. I know. I have to tell you, when I started the art experience and I decided in 2010 to invite people that came from all over the world, at locals as well, to visit Miami or Miami Beach to come to Over the Bridge on the <laughs> mainland and to come see Wynwood and that tour never happened before and so from 2010 to present day we still do the art experiences tour but you know going through the street when David Lombardi called me and Tony Goldman when he was alive God bless his soul they said what you're doing in design district mm -hmm. with the design district experience tours we would love you to come to winwood and when i went on that tour with david lombardi who took me into cafeina and through the streets because i really you know it was something i created because of the recession couldn't find a yeah. job to save my life and so i decided to create my own company when awesome. i saw you the art walks and the art walks brought like 10,000 people mm -hmm. on a Saturday when I know you could throw a bowling ball and not hit one person <laughs> in Wynwood at that time. And uh, only till recently, 2015, it just blows up and everybody and their grandmother is doing tours in Wynwood. But I'm so happy because that buzz was done by you and a handful of OG artists. Mm -hmm. Diana Contreras, you're amazing. Thank you. And we Thank love you. you. So much. And I know that you have some such great blessings in your life from <laughs> your beauty inside and out to your fabulous family with your beautiful thank son Christian you. thank you so much and you got married to Christian your yes. high school uh, boyfriend right or college yeah well I've known him since um, middle school middle yeah, school so we grew up together oh my god so that's an amazing <laughs> love story in itself now you got Christian who is two three years He's old gonna be two Two, going to be two. Okay, let me not rush it because it has been two years. So two years old. The last time I saw you with Patrick, who is uh, actually filming us, uh, you were six months pregnant and you were doing a suicide squat on the corner of, of 28th Street and Northwest 2nd. You had one particular character. It was the, the whole mural. was, a, uh, a, I think, about a 100-foot uh, mm -hmm. mural by yeah, was uh, yeah, 20 feet in height, 100 feet in, in width. And uh, Will Smith came out. Yeah. Right? Yeah. How was that experience? What, what was your character that you did for? I did... Um Will, Will Smith character, which was Deadshot. Deadshot. And then also did Katana. Katana. Oh, yeah. You know, guys, Wynwood, which is now an international destination, TripAdvisor puts it as the 10 top trendiest uh, chic neighborhoods. Uh, that that area, Wynwood, was really done by a handful of fabulous artists worldwide. I mean, Wynwood always had people that came, uh, primary projects in the early 90s, would bring their friends. And it was an area that has all these dilapidated, it was a forgotten neighborhood, all industrial warehouses, no windows on the warehouses. So really uh, lend itself as a large canvas. Mm -hmm. And so for artists that picked up the spray paint can and and love the hydroglyphics of <laughs> spray paint also you know whether you were poor or not poor people who love that medium and they're not many women as as men and uh, diana Contreras, you are an amazing 
uh, street artist with Thank your spray you. paint cans, your your techniques, your drips, your uh, your classic. Uh, how do you get your referencing? What was you know you you have a BFA, a Bachelor of Fine Arts, and a postgraduate degree from. Um, FIU and a lot of people think that street artists some reason are just street artists and they're not there many of them are trained in classical art and obviously your art you know really references a lot of classical art tell us a little bit about how you got into this style and why it just always excited me you know um I just I loved always loved like the characters and I saw um like at first I, I didn't know the graffiti there was any women in graffiti and once I started to to find them like um, Miss Van or Fafi, I was I was like, this is so me. This is what I, this is what excites me, you know. Um, so that's when I I got really inspired and and all the in Winwood there was so much graffiti and beautiful large scale murals and that was kind of, that was I don't think if there was a Winwood I wouldn't be doing this. So you kind of discovered. Um street art and picking up a spray paint can by going to Winwood. Yes. So what what year was that? Um I mean I never thought I could do it myself. Yeah. Um but um I have I you know I, I grew up with a lot of like, graffiti friends uh -huh. and um like Atomic he, he's one of the people that pushed me. Really? He's like you should do it you should do your characters on a wall. So the first one I did was in Cushy Gigs in Wynwood, uh -huh. um, indoor with a lot of there was it was a whole female wall it was uh, Tatiana Suarez it was Delves, um, Sand Wonner wow. it was a, a whole female wall and then after that I did one in like, around 2012. Yeah. I did um, Sophia Rose, a big Sophia Rose. <laughs> we named her Sophia Rose. Yeah. That was amazing. Thank what you. a beautiful mural that was. Yeah, uh, I think that was on uh, GKB, where uh, that block of Twenty uh, Fifth Street on yeah, the corner of bright. Northwest Second, going down to Northwest Third. Yes, yes. Yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah, that was. And then uh, on Brisky Gallery, the gorgeous yeah. blonde with the flowing hair that goes into another building. That one is still. Up. that one is still <laughs> up and that's the corner of 24th street yeah i believe it's 24. 24th street between, between first and second yeah northeast first court and uh northwest second avenue on on the south side gorgeous mural you know i was telling you on the pre-show that we always film for instagram uh which you could always see the pre-show where we warm up on instagram uh you could go and find uh dd rock d-i-d-i-r-o-k on her instagram and also the art experiences on my my Instagram and we're always going to put this video as well as a lot of the things that you're doing uh, now going forward uh, we do post on our talk with Susanna Baker on Facebook uh, I wanted to ask you what are you planning to do now for the new year because I know we lost a little bit of you as a new mom <laughs> with Christian and I, I did the same thing any great mother wants to be with her baby and uh, and spend that time and have that mommy time and then now you're still working you worked right through like six seven months with christian in your belly now you have a new bun in the belly yeah right a little bun in the oven yeah uh, which is so exciting god bless you and congratulations you. to you and christian and um uh, and the new baby brother uh <laughs> cj so how can uh what are you doing up next so how could people who love you who know who diana Contreras is and her beautiful images how can we see you uh, where will you be showing well um the what i have coming up is super fine mm -hmm. in washington dc at the Doc Five Union Market <laughs> on Booth Twenty Six. Yeah. So I am doing like twelve new pieces. Wow. Um, so it's been a little bit slow because of the pregnancy. Yeah. <laughs> and the morning sickness, but um, I'm pushing through and I'm making a whole new collection for for that show. 
for super fine in for dc fine. Yeah. and they are a very uh edgy contemporary art fair and in washington dc you're going to be there october 31st it opens up through november 2nd mm-hmm. which is uh through our fourth sorry october fourth november fourth november fourth okay so so october 31st halloween night yeah for a spooktacular show <laughs> go see <laughs> diana Contreras at super fine and then it continues through november 4th which is one heck of a week in yeah. dc <laughs> you could just imagine make elections you know go out there and vote guys you got to vote yes. if you don't like what you're seeing if you're not happy even locally with the way the, the light doesn't change fast enough or lanes or you know whatever you don't like in your own neighborhood uh all the way through the national uh, platforms, you must go out and exercise your voting rights and Mm -hmm. exercise your voice, make it be heard. It is in unity that strength is found. And sometimes when we sit home and say, ah, leave it to the next person, I know for sure this is what's gonna happen. And then you're shocked and pissed and depressed like many people, well, you only have one person to blame. You didn't have your voice united to go out Mm -hmm. to vote and go out to see Diana Contreras and (laughs) super fine. So now, uh, you know, when what's changed a lot what do you feel about the new Winwood? i mean it was you guys you fabulous and you know and to think about that honestly i got to meet you when you were actually exercising your first uh style on yeah. on walls i would have never known that i would think you were like doing subway cars hanging with a hook over a train station you know i, I running from the law because your style is like it looks so aged and so perfect you know perfected and not Thank everybody you. can pick up a, a spray paint can and actually uh, do a monumental wall. That's really hard. Thank you so much. I mean, there was so much, many beautiful murals around, you know, people that have been painting forever, like around the, the mural that I did. So it was a lot of pressure to to not be the worst mural on the block. <laughs> so I was there for like two weeks. I remember Everyday painting. I loved it. I also remember you did this beautiful woman on in milk. Like it looked like she was oh, in yeah. a pool of a milk. Yoga bath. <laughs> yoga bath with strawberries floating yeah. and she was, you know, emerged in the water and 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 coming out and you could see the little naked shoulder in the side. But it's your romanticism and classical face, but yet it's the illustration and the expansion of uh, the face of a woman, the big eyes and and the and the puff mouth and and the look, and sometimes like I have, I'm a collector of you. I, I think you know that. Yes. I don't know if you know that. Yes, I know. That. My whole living room is <laughs> Diana Contreras, and there's one that I got from. Uh, cultural business and a silent auction they did and i jumped to bid on your piece and the woman looked you know her hands are up in the hair uh up on her head and she's kind of perplexed and she got a bustier <laughs> and and but you captured the look almost like a metamorphosis stage like what am i supposed to do now where i go next but yet the beauty is always uh, sustained on the face no matter what it where they're going through or yeah. what their mission <laughs> is or what they're coming out of you keep that innocence there i think that's inspired by growing up in the 90s in the 90s with the uh, supermodels ruling the world remember uh, everywhere there was like a supermodel uh, yeah i think it comes like, from that influence yeah yeah there were a lot of super the eyes are a little bit like twiggy from the <laughs> 60s when i was brought up yeah but uh we don't want to say that but anyway <laughs> i have to tell you so diana Contreras, how can people find out more about you and look at your work what are your social media handles because we only have two minutes okay um instagram it's at a dd rock d-i-d-i-r-o-k um for my website it's my name diana contreras.com c-o-n-t-r-e-r-a-s yes and i am on art talk with Susanna baker on facebook and the art experiences on instagram so i have to tell you guys i love diana Contreras. i am a collector i uh i hate to see that the murals in winwood are dissipating 
they're literally just gone. And I think because of the lack of wall space, because it's being so commercialized, a lot of these warehouses that when Tony Goldman uh, went in there and canvassed the area for a new project, he saw uh, as long and as well as primary projects in the early 90s and 80s, they saw these buildings as canvases. There were no windows. Now as the square footage goes up because the bus starts with the urban grit sweat of these bohemian artists that do these great works of art and so now Winwood has definitely changed to some new metamorphosis stage in the future so I can wait for this Art Basel and Miami Art Week this beginning of December to get some walls starting now so to invite you out and tell our group at Art Talk with Susanna Baker you can look me up in Facebook uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel Susanna Baker and we are going to see you guys Diana Contreras Superfine DC is your next show and we'll see you soon next Friday on Art Talk with Susanna Baker 880 The Biz on The Money Man have a safe weekend bye bye Diana <laughs>